you ever wondered if it's possible to become a millionaire with drop shipping? Over a million dollars in sales. Millions of dollars from drop shipping. Well, I know for a fact it's possible because I went from a high school dropout to making over $1.5 million in a year by the time I was age 21. And to show you that it's still possible today, I created a brand new dropshipping store using zero dollars, and I'm sharing the entire process transparently. Now we just officially ended our first full month in business and we had a lot of ups and we had a lot of downs. And honestly, this reminded me of how hard it is to get your first business off the ground. So while a lot of people are gonna be watching this video and impressed with the sales that I've gotten, just realize that this isn't an overnight success. This has been the last five years of me dedicating myself to this craft. And I don't want this video to come across showing off. I know there's a lot of gurus out there who try to highlight how easy drop shipping is and we both know these guys are not drop shipping. So just know that I'm gonna always keep 100% with you guys. Now any good dropshipping store starts with a good product. I don't care how good your website is or how good your ads are. So I couldn't just find any product to be successful in this challenge. I needed to find a product that matched the criteria of a winning product. Usually when I am picking a product to sell, there's a few things that I look at. Obviously profit margin. If we don't have a good profit margin, then there's no way we're gonna ever be successful. And another piece of criteria that I think is important is that the product actually makes people's lives easier. So to locate this problem solving product, I ended up going on TikTok and looked up hashtag TikTok made me buy it. And honestly, I had to browse some time to find something decent. But I knew we had found a winner when I found a TikTok post with literally hundreds of people asking where they could find the product and the video only had about a thousand likes at this point. Now honestly, this was kind of suspicious. A post with only about a thousand likes to have this many comments of people wanting to know where to buy the product and I thought this was a great opportunity. Hundreds of people were looking to buy this product and they didn't have someone to fulfill that demand. So I built a website on Shopify and I started my journey trying to get this brand sales using zero dollars capital. Now I only really had one opportunity to become successful with this store since our budget was zero dollars. In order for us to create a profitable business, it meant attracting customers to our website without spending any money. Now this meant that the standard avenues for advertising like Facebook ads were completely out of the question. But what was possible was for us to create TikTok and Instagram real content completely organically and try to get the post viral so customers can see our product. So for the last 30 days, I spent a ton of time creating content and it actually went pretty well. So I wanna go over the results and how much money we were able to make. So this challenge started on August 16th. This was our first day in business and I ended up posting up only one single TikTok on this day. And yes, I did not get any sales. This was definitely a stressful day for me. I was creating a brand new business from scratch again. And honestly, day two felt pretty similar. We made $0 in sales and I spent hours of our time and we weren't able to even manage to get one single sale. So I was feeling pretty disappointed around this time. But day three, things started to pick up. Up. Day three on August 18th, I managed to get our very first sale and this was when I realized that we were onto something. So I got super stoked and excited about creating this brand. So I ended up doubling down. On the 19th, I created two pieces of content, but unfortunately we were only able to get one sale for $56. And then the day after that on the 20th, we were only able to get one sale again, even though I was posting more content. Now up until this point, we had gotten zero sales from TikTok. Our TikToks were doing terrible, but our Instagram reels were actually getting to push out. So this was a good sign. We were getting a few thousand views on our Instagram reels, but for some reason we weren't able to crack into TikTok yet. Now day six was a super exciting day. We managed to get three sales for a total of $270. And this made me feel like we could really take this brand to whatever height we wanted to grow it to. 
And this brought me down a path of switching our content up. I started to focus on more story-based content and this started to work really well. We were able to wrap the first week up at a total of $785.93, which personally I thought was a really good start to this challenge. I was feeling super excited and optimistic that this store could grow to a store that does six figures a month. So I really wanted to double down to get the best results we could in this challenge. And that's also when I set a goal of trying to make $1,000 in a single day throughout this challenge. And this brought us into week two. On day one of week two, we ended up doing $159. And day two ended up being another super solid day. We did $299 in sales this day, which got me feeling really good. We were able to hit some consistent results at this point. And at this point, we had generated over $1,000 in sales. And the best part about this is since we weren't spending money on ads, almost 75% of the revenue was profit. Day three of week two, we had a pretty similar day. And then day four of week two, I started ramping up the content. I realized that our posts were doing well, but maybe we needed more volume. So on day four of week two, we managed to hit our best day yet at $364, which was a really good sign. We were almost 40% to our 1K a day goal. And then day five, we managed to smash that record at $399. Overall, during week two, we managed to get over $2,000 in sales, which meant for this two week period, we had done over $2,700. And I already created a video covering up to this point if all this sounds familiar, but what I'm about to get into is week three and week four, which ended up being a total twist. And I think it's gonna be something really exciting for everyone. Going into week three, I was definitely nervous because we hadn't hit the goal that we set out for this challenge yet. And while we were getting results, I wanted to show people that this business is really possible and that we can hit some big numbers. So I was seriously stressed to continue to create the best content that I could. And it ended up being a pretty stressful week, but here's how it ended up going as far as sales. On day three of week one, such a disappointing day. We managed to get zero sales, but honestly, it felt like it was about time we stopped getting great results. It seemed like everything was going pretty easy in the beginning of this challenge. So the fact that we weren't facing turbulence just meant that we weren't pushing hard enough. So the fact that I didn't get any sales today, I kind of just dismissed it and decided I'm just gonna keep pushing on. Now on day two of week three, we actually did end up getting a sale, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, we also did have a refund. So that's why we only made $14.99 on this day, which is just pretty natural. Sometimes customers will end up ordering something and they'll want their money back. So we just gave them their money back. We're not gonna worry about that. And we're just gonna hold day three as more successful. Unfortunately, it wasn't. And we managed to do $0 in sales yet again. So for this three day period, we had literally only made about $14.99 and I was feeling really bummed out at this point. I thought that maybe the store was over, maybe the product wasn't working anymore, and I felt like quitting, to be honest. But I kept pushing through, and on day four of week three, we managed to get another sale, which was a really good sign. I needed this. I was starting to feel like our store was going downhill. So this gave me the momentum to jump back on the content, and here's where things really start to take off. And then the next day we did about $145 in sales, which meant that we were back on. And the very next day we managed to crack our biggest day yet, $429 in sales, and I was completely over the moon. But unfortunately the next day our sales dropped by 50% and we only managed to do around $214. Now this wrapped week three up at $1,159. And while I was excited about these sales, it was definitely a big decline in the week before. So during week four, I was more determined than ever to take this to its full potential. And it started working out. On day one of week four, we managed to absolutely crush our biggest sales day and do over $604 in revenue. And then the next day, we crushed that goal again with over $889 in sales. And at this point, we were so close to hitting that 1K a day goal. I really wanted to make this happen which meant that I need to spend more time on content creation. 
but the sales didn't pick up right away because on day three of week four, we managed to do less sales than the day before, even though we were getting more views. And the rest of the week pretty much felt like that as well. On day four, $494. On day five, $286. On day six, $344. Now at this point, we only had one day left in our challenge and we still hadn't broken our goal. Now let me be honest, I think all the stars aligned in the universe because on day seven, something super surprising ended up happening. Yes, our TikTok finally started to blow up. So on day seven, we ended up receiving the most website traffic yet, and we ended up doing $2,473 in this day, which is just ridiculous. We completely crushed our 1K a day sales goal, and we made more on this day than the first week and third week combined, which is just ridiculous. Now, just to give everyone an update on this store, I'm gonna go to today's sales and you can see that we're doing pretty decent today, $429. And keep in mind, this has been all off of organic posted TikTok, which means that we had to spend no money on advertising doing this. Last time I posted a video about how I'm drop shipping with $0, there was a ton of questions on how I'm creating the content, how I'm making these reels and TikToks blow up. So if you guys do wanna see a full tutorial of me showing you step-by-step -step how to do that, you can let me know down in the comments. But if you guys wanna see another update after 30 more days go by, then let me know and I'll definitely share that with all you guys. So I hope you guys got some value from this video. If you haven't already, make sure you check some of the links out in the description so you guys can get started with drop shipping but thank you for watching the video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace